supper was really amazing. And tonight we're gonna see if we can do it again. We're going to Shula's uh, Steakhouse at the Dolphin. And uh, I'm really looking forward to eating a big piece of beef. I don't think I really had any since I've been here. I've been kind of going for all the seafood, which has been uh, really good. Everything I've had so far has been excellent as far as sushi at Kona Cafe. Last night I had a grouper at uh, California Grill. It truly was a meal that I don't know if I'll ever forget. It was that, that good. So, Shoeless uh, has, a, has a big shoes to fill. So, so let's see how this goes. We are just on a friendship boat. We're at uh, the International Gateway uh, Pickup. Yeah, what was here, so we're gonna take that over to shoot it. So come on, see how that goes. Chip boat, we're now racing it. <laughs> so I made a decision that we would probably get to the dolphin quicker if we walked rather than staying on it as it goes to the yacht pub. That's a good point. And uh, we're gonna consume vast calories at Shula's Steakhouse. Nice to see the Dolphin Hotel since um, September when we were here last. I've always just thought it was just a spectacular looking resort. I don't know if it fits in to the theme of Disney or not. It's definitely impressive. syrup and it has these like candied um, candied uh, pecans the big giant ice cube and I love Manhattan's and this one is uh, really good Uh, but for the same price, I like the Porterhouse. You're going to get the best of both worlds. New York 
strip down one side of the T-bone, a couple ounces of filet on the other, two steaks in one, yeah. and then go on with the porterhouse. You want to show off, I got the steak for you, it's the 48 ounce porterhouse. 20 year old young men are my targets, uh, they tend to eat it all, they put your name in the club at donchuple.com, yeah. autograph for the first to take home the finish. Here's the cowboy ribeye, that's grown in, clearly a little more marble and milk fat. It's going to make it very juicy and flavorful. Some nice alternatives to beef are in your entree section, lots of lobster options, cancered uh, scallops when they have fat cakes. Lower left corner has your side dishes, they really look like this, they're pretty big, they're on the cart. Most people share potatoes, veggies, and mushrooms, they're generous. Love the homemade alborne potatoes, they're fresh baked uh, parmesan cream sauce. The organic mushrooms, roasted corn, cream spinach, those are in the house favorites. You'll see six different soup and salad options. I like the tomato mozzarella, it's a chocolate caprese salad with spring greens, olive oil, and balsamic glaze dressing. A lot of seafood appetizers. Chef recommendation is going to be the ahi tuna. It's yellowfin tuna, served chicken, and rare, spicy crust. So there we go, a lot of talking for steak and potatoes. Fresh bread. Ooh, nice and warm sourdough bread. Oh, very spreadable butter. Let's try this bread. Warm, crispy, perfectly flaky crust. Bread top, beautiful bite. Yeah. Our crab cake has arrived. And we have just to wait for a moment. So I'll wait for her to return before I start digging into that thing. Got some of the aromalades.
feels about the same as last night. Yeah, it's no California crow. So, yeah, after... It was a very good meal. Right. I would go back. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was, there was nothing wrong with it. I can't complain about a single thing. The scallops were really nice. Yeah, the steak was really good. Yeah, but this was made out of it. It was okay. Mine's better. Yours, yours is better. My mom's is better. Um, but it was very good. Yeah, we're, we're being a little overly, overly nice. We could be a little bit more critical, but yeah, I mean, it, it was a great meal. But in a competition between Shula's and California Grill, there is no competition. I would just say it's way too soon. Pretty I mean, it's just way too soon. Yeah, we should have waited longer to, uh, to have that. So um, it was great. If we hadn't have just gone to California Grill, it would have been, um, probably would have seemed more exceptional than it was. All in all, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Shula? Yeah. And what would you give oh. California Grill? Pretty much a 10. Yeah. I mean, 9.5 anyways, I don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking 9.9. 9. I don't know yeah. what would have made it better. I'm not, yeah, I don't know how much better it could have been. The company, um, the everything. View. The view, the fireworks. The service was packed. Yeah. It was so good. Chris knew everything. Yeah, our server Chris, not, not me Chris. I sometimes think I know everything, but that yeah. server knew, actually did know everything. So, anyways, yeah, that, that's our review for Shula's. If it's Shula's versus California no, Grill. Sure you guys no, I'm no, good. good. Um, but Shula's versus California Grill, California Grill wins hands down. That's it for uh, dining review for Shula's. Uh, from the Holy Moly. See you again.